Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I am back out here at Bonneville Dam. I'm gonna do some more shad fishing. Gonna catch a few more, try another recipe, see how it tastes, how it is. So make sure you guys watch this video from start to end. You'll see my cooking at the end with this fresh, amazing shad. I know they're super bony, but from all the recipe I'm doing, they're actually really good. So I got my fishing poles. I'm gonna head down and catch some us some shad, baby. Let's go. Nice. There we go. 
I got them really good. Stuck in there. Right there, guys. Let's catch a few more. watching the video if you don't want to see me fish just fast forward and you'll see me do like cook on these Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because these bad boys will get a lot bigger in a couple weeks. They will be full of eggs. So stay tuned. I'll definitely make some more shad videos because I'm going to do a lot of catch and cook on these bad boys. Alrighty guys, so what I did with the shad at home was, well last night, I filleted it, so it's all nice and filleted, filleted a few of them as you can see here, and then I marinate, marinate them with salt, pepper, sugar, and fish sauce, so overnight it's going to give them time to soak in all the flavors, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sun dry them. So it's like gonna be like almost like beef jerky, you know, it's just gonna be like chicken, I mean chicken. It's gonna be like fish jerky. So that's sunny right now. So I'm gonna get these out and then I'm gonna sun dry them. Show you guys how the process is done. Sorry I didn't um, show the whole process of me filleting and seasoning them because it takes too long and I don't wanna make the video too long for you guys. It might be boring, but I'll give you a closer look. That's what it looks like right there. See there's the black pepper, there's, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff in there like I said earlier, and then you see the bones. So once you sun dry them and then you fry them up, the bone becomes brittle and easy to eat. It's all edible. I'm outside, it's nice and warm. It's supposed to be around like 70, 80 today. So I got the fish all nice and out here. It's gonna sun dry all day. I'm gonna let it sit out here all day to sun dry. And then I'll come back in like a few hours and let you guys see what it's gonna look like. So this is fresh right now. So it's all moisture and wet and stuff. So this is fresh, just put out here just now. I forgot to tell you guys that um, I have to keep all the bugs and flies away. So I use this net, this mesh net right here to cover it up. And so it'll keep all the bugs away from going in contact with the fish. So, like I said, I'll be back soon. Then we'll lift, it up, lift, lift this up and then show you what it's going to look like. I'm excited. All right, guys. So, I'm back out. I left it for, golly, maybe almost eight hours. So, all day, guys. Look at that. That's a big difference right there. 
see that so this is gonna be delicious when fried up or air frying stuff I can smell it so stay tuned guys don't leave yet I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna eat it I'm eating with rice and stuff I might um, let it air let it um, stay in the Sun for another day Hey guys, so I got the shad sun dry for two days. The temperature was perfect in the 70 and 80. You don't want any higher than that or it will spoil the meat. So this been sun dry for all day for two days, guys. So I'm going to put in the air fryer right now. Then I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm going to do seafood. I'm going to go 300 right there and then start and then we will come back and see so i'm gonna let it so i'm not i'm not gonna let it cook for too long i'm gonna check it like every two or three minutes because it um i use a lot of sugar in it so it's gonna burn easily and it's really thin piece of meat so we'll be back yeah so it looks like it's been like 15 minutes actually it's been a while and oh, look at that guys oh my my oh that smells so good this looks fire so I'm going to take a piece and try and eat with rice and I'll show you guys. Hey guys, so it's all done. Sorry I didn't show you the full, full process because I forgot about it. But it's 15 minutes like I said in the video and it's beautiful golden brown. Look at that guys. It has a very beautiful color to it. And I'm going to start air frying all my shad. But my favorite part is the belly right here. I'm going to rip a piece just like this there that's the piece and then we're gonna oh it smells just like fish jerky mm, guys hands down this is amazing <clears throat> and the bone everything is all edible it breaks in your mouth like chips delicious mmm that's I'm gonna show you the bone too see see the bone and then there's bone on the side. So this is a very bony fish, but finger is very oily. So it makes this fish very delicious. So good. I'm gonna try this piece right here. Another good piece. I can't believe how flavorful and delicious this fish is. You see that? There's all the bone and it breaks off just like chips. Look at that. It's very tender and easy to break off. So when you eat it, you can't even feel it. So I'm gonna show you the whole piece in my mouth. It's delicious. Guys, it's phenomenal. And it's really good fish, holy cow. Oh my God. <clears throat> like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on my next adventure, later.